So with me today are Jenny and Jan from Edge Impulse, and that's a company that makes it easy for you to develop with TinyML. And one of my favorite things about Edge is that you have a very large and active developer community. Could you share with us a little bit about how many projects they've completed with Edge Impulse so far? So we just crossed, um, about a week ago during, uh, during a conference, we crossed 40,000 projects, which is an astonishing number. And it's amazing the type of stuff that people build once you give them kind of the tools, right? Congrats, that's really fast growth. And could you share how Edge makes it easy for developers to develop with TinyML? Um, so Edge Impulse makes it really, really easy for an embedded developer or any other developer to take the sensor data or any other type of data that they have such a strong knowledge of, upload that into our tool. And we have other things involved like AutoML to help you figure out exactly what type of model you need to use in order to uh, successfully use that data um, with machine learning. Um, so, and that's completely without needing to have to write any code. So you don't need to be a Python developer to uh, use Edge Impulse, especially if you really only know something like C++. The biggest thing is we are a engineering tool. And we want to put power into the hands of the people that really understand the data. So for us, everything starts, I like to say it when people on board, um, is that everything starts with data. So we try to help these people actually gather data from the field. Um, and use that first to get insight in what they have. And then they're the domain experts. They can actually tell us what is good and what is wrong. And, and the only thing we can do is just give them the tools um, to make that decision quickly. So the big thing about Edge Impulse that lets you build applications and machine learning models from scratch with your own data, rather than just downloading them from a model zoo. So with that, you can build applications that respond to your voice, for example, like whenever I say, Tiny ML. So that is actually trained on 46 minutes of data only that we actually collected, not in the office, but live during a conference. So during the Tiny ML Summit, um, we gave a QR code to people. They, re they record a little bit of their voice. We cut it up into data samples and train a model with that. So here we have our whole data set, 46 minutes in the test set. Um, and we can actually show our feature explorer to see if that data separates and how well that actually works. So here we have the three classes that we have, noise, background noise, unknown, different keywords, and the tiny ML sentence. And you see a really nice cluster of green data here on the right with all of our samples. And once we see clusters going into each other, um, here we have some overlap of um, blue, noise, and green tiny ML. Those are samples we probably want to look into. But with this small amount of data, we managed to train a 96.6% accurate on our training set and about 94% on our test set, just with a small amount of data. And the Feature Explorer helps us here as well. So we can dive in and see exactly which of these samples were classified correctly and which ones were classified incorrectly. Once again, giving us some insight in the data set quality. And there's two ways of actually um, programming a neural network out. Um, so we have our visual modes, um, which is really convenient. We'll load stuff that we know is going to work for your data set and your problem. But if you want to have the full power of TensorFlow and Keras on your hands, just go to the expert mode, as seen here, and you'll have full freedom in the way that you design your neural networks. Thanks. That's really cool. And where can developers go to learn more about Edge Impulse? Developers can sign up for free at edgeimpulse.com. And you can also get started from our documentation at docs.edgeimpulse.com. Yeah, so we have end-to-end -end tutorials on anything from doing stuff with vibrational data, rebuilding this keyword spotting model that you saw earlier, image classification, wherever you want to run it. And the cool part is that we have launched not one, but two Coursera courses together with Sean Heimel. Um, the first one, I think, has over 10,000 already enrolled. That literally guides you to everything you need to know about embedded machine learning. And the second one about how you can do embedded machine learning for vision applications. Thank you both. Your demos look awesome, and I really appreciate you joining us.